My very first documentary film was screened here in 1987 as part of the Melbourne International Film Festival. I think there's about 600 seats in this cinema and an audience of that scale watching your very, very first film in this beautiful, beautiful setting, uh, which just celebrates the nostalgia and the romance of cinema. There could not have been a, a better, better place really for a first time filmmaker to have their film screened. It is the most beautiful cinema in the world, an extraordinary space, but it's also amazing that it's just sitting here on Swanston Street behind these closed doors. Most other cinemas are fairly traditional. Um, this is unique. You know, the original brief was as a crystalline palace of wonder, and it really is that. RMIT is looking to reactivate the Capitol Theatre, which is a great thing because it's sat sort of fallow for several years now. We want to revitalise the Capitol and open it up to students, industry and the community. The new Capitol will be a thriving centre of education, research and innovation. More than 1,000 students across 10 disciplines will be able to gain hands-on experience and exposure to industry best practice. The Capital will be a hub for collaboration and an incubator of new enterprises. Best of all, it will quickly become a magnet for creative entrepreneurs right in the heart of Melbourne. It's obviously a very big space and it, and it could be much more than just a theatre. In addition to being used by, by students during the day as a lecture theatre or as a screening facility, by night it could be used to facilitate those connections between industry and, and students. That's a space that would really be quite valuable to a student. You know, the capital can once again become this sort of uh, hotbed of creativity, you know, with ideas sparking off each other and, and become a really inspirational uh, space. I really, really encourage others to get behind the vision of bringing back this beautiful, beautiful icon, uh, not only for its former glory, but its future potential to really engage Melbournians and people from around the world with this jewel that's in the heart of our city.